Hey folks, this video aspires to teach Google App Scripts Spreadsheet App Library to beginners. Google App Script is Google's version of the JavaScript language and it allows you to augment Google Drive file types such as documents, sheets, and slides. Our focus today is going to be on the Spreadsheet app. Uh, so you will need a Google Sheets workbook with some data. Um, and we are going to be focusing on um, a general overview of some of the things that you potentially would like to do with Spreadsheet app. So it's not going to be 100% comprehensive, but it's meant as a gateway for individuals who are looking to learn how to code using Google Apps Script. Uh, if you are new to programming, I have a fundamentals video, which will be linked in the description. Uh, I think there are some valuable principles in there that will help you uh, with this lesson and any future projects you might look to undertake using App Script. We're going to be using a bound App Script today. So we will be navigating to the extensions menu of your spreadsheet, and then we will be opening up App Script. You have the ability to use a bound or unbound script. Um, the benefit of a bound script is that you have access to some functionality that is not available in an unbound script. I will make note of that when we get to that point in the video. Uh, but we are going to begin by uh, titling our project. So I'm just going to call mine spreadsheet app for beginners i'm going to hit enter i am going to add a script file and i'm going to call it a underscore access underscore wb which will be our shorthand in this video for workbook we're going to hit enter we'll be renaming uh, the function so the boilerplate will always say function my function. Uh, we are going to have a couple different script files, so we don't want them to have the same name uh, because it can cause issues when attempting to run them. So we are going to call it create, uh, sorry, no, we're going to call this access capital W lowercase b. We're going to go to line two. We're going to hit enter. We're going to add two slashes for a comment, and we will say first method for accessing a workbook. We will be saving our project. So there are uh, three primary methods uh, that you can use in order to access a workbook. So after line three, we're going to hit enter and then tab, and we are going to declare a variable called wb1. We're going to set that equal to spreadsheet app. So all of the work that we do in this video is going to focus on Spreadsheet App. Uh, so you can access the functions within Spreadsheet App by using a dot. Uh, so this will give you uh, plenty of functions to use uh, with Spreadsheet App. Um, it's not all of the functions that you can use uh, as because some of the functions have nested functionality within them. But this is the first point. Uh, so for our purposes, we are going to use uh, get capital A active spreadsheet. We're going to have an open parentheses here. We're going to hit the right arrow on our keyboard, and we're going to add a semicolon. So spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet will allow you to access the spreadsheet that your app script is bound to. So if you are using an unbound app script file you will not be able to use the get active spreadsheet method. We are using a bound app script file. So that means that we have the ability to use get active spreadsheet. We're going to hit enter once, twice. We're going to add two slashes for a comment, and we will say logging for transparency. We're going to hit enter and tab. We're going to use capital L logger.log, and then we will reference the workbook one variable that we just created. We're going to add a semicolon. We'll hit save, and then we're going to run our project. 
We're going to review permissions, which is how we authorize App Script's ability to access our Google Sheets workbooks. So we're going to select our email address. We are going to get this aggressive warning that is just coming from Google to say that it has not verified the code that you're attempting to run using App Script. We're going to use the advanced, and then we're going to go down to go to spreadsheet app for beginners unsafe. Again, this verbiage is just because Google has not reviewed the code that we are attempting to run. So it is giving you warnings to say, please make sure you know what this code is doing. Because when you allow the spreadsheet app access to your spreadsheet, you are allowing it to see, edit, create, and delete all your Google Sheets spreadsheets. Now, that is not what we are doing, but again, Google just wants you to know that that potential exists when you allow code to run. So we're gonna hit allow. And now that we've authorized the spreadsheet help, you can see that our execution log is returning a spreadsheet. This is the exact type of logging that we want to see. Um, the next method for accessing a workbook, uh, so we're gonna be on line seven and we're gonna hit enter two times. And then we're gonna hit the left arrow on our keyboard four times. We're going to add two slashes for a comment, and then we are going to say second method for accessing a workbook. We're going to hit enter and tab, and uh, we are now going to use a, a variable, and we'll set it to WB2, and we'll set it equal to spreadsheet app dot open by ID. We'll have an open parentheses, and then we're going to add single quotes or double quotes. It doesn't matter what you use, uh, but you should remain consistent throughout your project. My preference is to use single quotes. Um, additionally, this method is uh, my preferred method for accessing uh, workbooks when I'm uh, scripting using AppScript. Um, identification numbers are um, secure methods of developing logic because they don't change. Names will change, other things will change, but the identification number will not change unless the thing is deleted. Um, so I encourage you to use, to use the ID, but um, you know there are, there are three methods to use. So I'm gonna go up to uh, my spreadsheet and you can find the ID by going to the URL of your workbook. And then you will find the ID after the docs.google.com slash whatever your file type is. So it doesn't matter if it's a doc or a sheet or a slide deck or whatever. And then you'll see that there's this slash D slash. It comes after the slash D slash before the slash edit. Uh, so we're going to copy that identification number and we will paste it into the open by ID function. We'll hit the right arrow on our keyboard twice. We'll add a semicolon. We'll hit enter twice two slashes for a comment, and then we'll say logging for transparency. We'll hit enter and tab. We will use logger.log, and then we will pass in WB2. We'll hit the right arrow on our keyboard, add a semicolon, and then hit run. And now you can see we are also returning a spreadsheet, which is precisely what we want to see. We're gonna hit enter twice, left key on our keyboard four times, add two slashes for a comment, and now the third method for accessing a workbook. We're gonna hit enter and tab, and we are going to declare a variable called WB3, and we will set that equal to capital S spreadsheet app dot open by URL. It's the same setup as open by ID. We'll have a open parentheses with some single quotes. Uh, we'll go back to our spreadsheet, Instead of selecting just the ID, we can select the entire URL. We're going to copy it. We're going to go back to our app script. We're going to paste it inside of our uh, single quotes or double quotes. And then we will hit the right arrow on our keyboard twice, add a semicolon, hit enter twice, two slashes for a comment, and then we will say logging for transparency. We'll hit enter, tab, logger.log, and then we will pass WB3. We will run our code, and you will see that all three methods are successfully returning a spreadsheet, which is exactly 
what we want to see. So it doesn't matter what method you use. Um, you know, I think some people could prefer the URL method because then you have uh, direct access to your workbook. Um, I prefer Open by ID, um, but you can also use Get Active Spreadsheet if you are using a bound script. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to learn more about Google Apps Script or the Spreadsheet app, then check out the playlist in the description.